Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to start hitting through the golf ball. This is going to make a massive difference to your ball striking. Okay, so the first thing I want us to do is take a look at Hogan. Hogan is obviously somebody with a history of fantastic ball striking. And what we can really see is two things when we're looking at this impact position. The first one is a real solid lead arm hitting relationship. And that's one of the things that we want to feel in today's video. If we were to draw a line through the club, up through his shoulder, we can see the way that is a real solid straight arm relationship what happens with most amateurs when they hit the ball is this relationship is really breaking down having a solid arm relationship like that really helps us get good ball striking when we come to good ball striking we need to get a decent angle of attack which means how the club is striking down on the ball when that lead arm breaks down that makes you hit up on the ball which adds to that inconsistency Solid lead arm relationship is one thing that the second thing that we need to focus on here is the body rotation so we can see at this point of impact the way that the body is pointing more towards the target than it is obviously towards the golf ball. Again, a common problem with most amateur golfers is when they're hitting the ball, the body's pointing more towards the ball itself rather than obviously progressing its way towards the target. So if we can find a way to trigger good rotation, that will lend us to looking more like Hogan and hopefully getting some much better results as well. A simple drill that you can practice, and the brilliant thing with this is you can take this down to the driving range or you can also do it at home as well. All you've got to do is place two alignment sticks down on the floor so they're perpendicular to one another like so now what i want you to imagine is once you've set these up is that you've basically created four boxes so i've got a box in the top left a box in the top right a box in the bottom left and a box in the bottom right now for the first part we really want to focus our attention in the bottom left side because similar to what i just showed you with hogan's picture we need to be triggering rotational motion but you guys would have done this before. There's no doubt that I've met thousands of golfers and they've all tried rotation, but what happens is the way that you guys do it is like this, okay? So do you see what's happening here? As I'm rotating, see the way my hands and arms are going out in front of me? And this is gonna be a big, big problem as opposed to moving more this way. Can you see the difference now? As I've changed my rotation, can you see the way now my trail shoulder drops down and so do my hands? as opposed to this. So if I was facing back towards the driving range, the problem with you guys is when you're rotating, you're keeping, you imagine my hips and my pelvis area, you're keeping all of that located in this bottom right box here. This is not what we're after. What we need to do is we need to move into the bottom left box. So when you're making a few little practice swings at home, or whether you're doing some practice swings down the range, you watch me now I swing up, and see the way that I'm really concentrating on moving the lower portion of my body in this box. And obviously if I rotate, that brings my right hip around so I can pretty much get all of it moving in this bottom left quadrant here. That's gonna be a real key thing. Now, the thing that you'll notice when you do this is two. One, when you're doing it and you keep your head still, it'll help you drop that shoulder down, as I just demonstrated from that side and perspective, which is key, but, the other thing is your weight pressure. When you've done this exercise a few things, what you really wanna be doing is getting a feeling of how much weight is moving into that lead foot. That's what you wanna be carrying on to the second part of this exercise. Place another alignment stick down. This time it's gonna go on the instep of my lead ankle. And as I get set up to the golf ball, like so, that would be my normal ball position. Similar to what we saw with Hogan, if you do that and drill correctly and you really get the lower body moving into that bottom left box, what that'll do is that will open up the body. And as your body opens up, it'll pull everything around with it. Now, the thing is, when it comes to hitting through the golf ball, one of the telling signs is, well, once you've hit the ball, if I now place, see this position here where the club is on the line. Can you see that where my hands are on the line, my shoulders on the line, and my hip is on the line? That's a massive thing as a point of reference for hitting through the ball like so. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit some balls down the driving range now, and you're gonna try and put that feeling into perspective. So you're gonna get set up and you can keep that alignment stickers there if you wanted to as a point of reference. But more importantly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the club behind the ball, and then you're just gonna hinge your wrist. See what I'm doing here? I'm just hinging the back of my right wrist. And the hinge alone moves the club head to a position where it is opposite my right foot. Okay, so see the way now I'm starting with the club head pretty much in line with my right ankle. Now I'm gonna do some short back swings, but watch this. I'm not gonna come down and hit that golf ball using my hands and arms, because then what would happen is if I went to this position, see the way it's all broken down and we don't have that solid left arm relationship that we're looking for. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna hinge, so start the club opposite my foot, lift my arms a little bit, but watch me this time. 
I turn. And can you see the way the rotation is what brings me around to the back of the golf ball? So I don't have to lose any of those wrist angles that are created by positioning the club opposite my trail foot. I just turn. And if I can get that feeling of moving in towards that box, then I should be able to start with the club opposite my foot, lift it up a little bit, and then turn through. And you can hear that lovely sound of compression. And that sound of compression is basically happening because I am controlling a nice angle of attack into the back of the golf ball, and I'm getting that club face square, and I'm really squaring up with my rotation, not scooping and flicking at it. Once you get a feel for this, you can just kind of rain free on this. And you know, a lot of my students, once I know they understand the concept of this, they can just carry on hitting balls. You can progressively swing back longer if you want to, but all you're trying to do is really feel like once you've hinged that club back, you're gonna lift your arms up and just turn through the golf ball. And that is gonna give you that ability to hit through the ball. If that helps, you know where I am if you need me. I'll see you soon.